Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how to remove the background from an image in Krita. I will use this picture of a man in a black hat and jacket from Unsplash. As a first step, you should choose one of the selection tools in the toolbox here on the left side. Depending on the subject, you might want to choose a different tool. The rectangular or elliptic sec selection tool, for example, is useful if your subject has a perfect shape. If this is not the case, you probably want to draw a precise selection around your object with the freehand selection tool. Since my background is mostly one color, I will use the similar color selection tool. In my case, using the similar color selection tool, I can simply click on the background color and the tool will select the background automatically. For this process to work correctly, you need to ensure that the subject or object you want to keep is selected. Since my tool selected the background, I need to invert the selection. To invert the selection, just go to Select and Invert Selection. You can also use the shortcut Shift plus Ctrl and I on Windows or Shift, Command and I on Mac. Once you have selected the subject or objects you want to keep, you can add a transparency mask layer to hide the background. In order to do this, Click the arrow next to the Add New Layer icon here on the right side at the bottom of the Layer Stalker. Select Add Transparency Mask and your background will turn transparent immediately. As you can see, you have now successfully removed the background by hiding it with the layer mask. To check if everything was selected correctly, there is a simple trick. Just add a new paint layer below the image and fill it with color. To add a new paint layer, all you have to do is to click the Add New Layer icon. You don't have to choose a specific layer as the default layer added is always a paint layer. Once the paint layer is added, move it to the bottom of the layer stack by clicking and dragging it down. Then turn off the layer visibility of all the other layers by clicking on the eye icons next to each layer. This is to ensure the paint is added across the entire layer. Now stay on the new paint layer, select the fill and area tool, which looks like this paint bucket, and select a color in the top setting bar. Choose a color which one you can clearly see any problems with the subject or objects you cut out. I will go with this light blue. Click then on the canvas to fill the entire layer with your chosen color. If you turn the visibility of the other layers back on, you can see any inconsistencies where the mask didn't remove some of the background or where the mask removed some of the subject or object accidentally. For instance, here I have a few areas in the hand, chin, head and arm that are incorrect. We will adjust this as follows. Activate the freehand brush tool by selecting it from the toolbar or you can also just press B on your keyboard. Then you have to set the brush color and size. As you will be working on a layer mask, you only need to work with white and black when painting on the mask. As you can see here on the right side, the white areas show what's on the layer. In our case, that's the man with the hat. Everything which is black shows the areas hidden by the layer. So you just have to select the color based on what areas you are fixing up. But first you have to be sure that you have selected the transparency mask layer before you start brushing. Select then white to add in any areas of the subject that are hidden. You can do this by brushing over the inconsistencies like that. and select black to hide areas from the background which are currently still visible. For instance, I still have a background patch here visible at the canvas top right hand corner. Painting over this with black will hide the area. You should now have your subject on its own with the background successfully removed. You can either set a new background now, remove the paint layer and keep the subject on a transparent background or also add a subject to a new project. Thanks so much for watching and if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.